Welcome to the good news. And uh, this is a special uh, experience for me to tell you something from uh, my hometown. You know, I have been traveling all over the world and uh, been living in different countries and uh, been working in different countries. Uh, but in this program, I am going back again to uh, my hometown where I have been uh, living uh, my, yeah, uh, long part of my life and also where I received Jesus from my Lord and Savior when I was 20 years old. Uh, up to that time I have uh, never heard about Jesus and I have never heard about Jesus on the way that uh, I understood. Uh, of course I have been uh, in uh, in uh, some church uh, to Christmas time, but uh, I never really understand uh, what uh, the subject uh, was. Uh, so uh, this was very special for me when I was 20 years old. Uh, this was my uh, sister. They come home. She had been in other town, and there uh, she had been in uh, free church. And uh, uh, evangelist had been teaching about Jesus. And my sister have received Jesus some Lord and Savior. And uh, she came home and told uh, about that to me. And uh, I was listening for a time, but I don't really understand what uh, she was talking about. But I do something. I think it was maybe very clever. I don't know really why. Of course, somebody invited me uh, to a local free church there in the town where I live. And um, in this church, I have an experience uh, about, uh, I, what shall we say, I was feeling the Spirit of God. I was meeting the Spirit of God and uh, something was happening there in this uh, church. And uh, I received Jesus from my Lord and Savior. I, one day I took a really decision. Yes, from today on, I will believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and I will give him uh, my life. So when I took this decision, it came a changing inside in me. Uh, my inner man was changed, and uh, the yeah, the happy, there was having something inside in uh, me. And um, when I came out from the Turks this day, I only was uh, looking on the world on a completely uh, other way. So uh, something was happening. Uh, other thing that also was very good. Uh, uh, I see in this church, this was not only uh, people was uh, talking about God, of course, in every meeting there was uh, 20 minutes where they read from the Word of God and uh, they share something from the Word and uh, this was, of course, also well, very good for me. But I also see a lot of things that was happening in the church. So from the beginning on, I uh, see uh, how special I see how people get healed. And uh, this was a very big experience for me. Um, I have not been very much sick myself. So this was not special because of I need a lot of healings. But uh, it, was, uh, it was a big meaning for me because of with that I see that God are alive today is not only uh, someone we are talking about, but uh, they are someone we experience. We have some experience about God. We also talk a lot about experience. And our first experience, there was forgiveness for sin and God changed our lives so we now could live a new life. Um, we, we learn a lot about sanctification, how we could uh, give our life over to God and He could control our life. And I have this experience also that God do that and we could be filled with the power of God, the Spirit of God. And uh, I also received that, you know, and uh, not only for the sign like the disciples, you know, uh, on the time of Jesus, they were speaking in unknown language uh, on a supernatural way, 
not only because of this was so important for me, but the sign in it was very important. So the sign uh, in, in God was uh, a very important thing because of I was only uh, growing up there in the countryside and I was uh, thinking upon the, the animals uh, on the farm I was living on and uh, I have a lot of other things I have never really been uh, thinking about uh, something that have to do with spirit but now I see there was a living God and he was doing something today and uh, I have a lot of experience in this church. I remember after I started in this church, I started to work with a, a building carpenter and uh, I um, was working for a man there and one day this man was falling down from a house and uh, he completely broke his uh, arm on a very badly way. Uh, so he came on the hospital and uh, in the hospital they say to him, uh, you must have uh, this uh, in bandage for six weeks because of this is a very uh, big problem in your arm. And uh, he, uh, it was a Friday night and Sunday morning he go on uh, the meeting. And in this church they have a very uh, wonderful tradition. I not always like tradition, but, uh, but this was a wonderful tradition they have. They all, always use the same scripture from this, uh, the Bible, uh, from James 14, uh, uh, chapter verse 5, where the Bible say, If someone among you are sick, then he must call upon the oldest in the church, and then the oldest in the church shall pray one prayer of faith, and then the prayer of faith shall heal the sick, and God himself will come and raise the sick from the sickness. So what that was happening now, he, he was, uh, this accident was Friday night, and he came on a meeting Sunday morning, and uh, on this meeting we pray for him and uh, when we have been praying for him he took off all the bandages of his arm and the next day's morning as a monday morning i was working together with him and we was building uh, some houses and we was doing some difficult thing but there was no problem with his arm so i find out oh there is happening a miracle and uh, for me, this was very important because of I see this is a living God and he can do something wonderful for people today. And I see that in different situations. I see a, other, I see a, a, a woman, uh, she has getting cancer in her stomach and um, she doing it in the same way. She came to the church, we pray one prayer of faith and uh, when she came, to the hospital the day after. Uh, the doctor said to him, we don't understand uh, because of we have here on the picture uh, that you have uh, two big uh, cancer uh, problem in your stomach, but now we see on the picture that they are disappeared. They are not there more, so we don't know what they are happening. Of course, this uh, woman could tell them what that was happening. We have been praying, and because of that, she has been uh, healed. So uh, this is something uh, important to see, and I have learned that uh, in this tone. And uh, from this time on, I have, uh, uh, for many, many years, I have been full-time working with the gospel, to bringing out the gospel, special to bringing uh, the gospel out to people that never have heard the gospel before. I uh, have uh, going on the street in my hometown and uh, thousands of people have on this way heard the gospel. I have been preaching the gospel on TV in thousands of hours. I have standing in front of the TV and uh, show the good news about Jesus and tell about uh, uh, the experience I have done. And on this way, uh, it was happening 
a, w a lot of wonderful uh, thing. I have been in India now. This is number 40 times. I uh, shall go to India uh, after. Uh, yeah, this is af uh, after the last 20 years. So uh, it's only two times a year, you can say. But uh, still, uh, I have seen a lot of things. God has done a lot of things. I have seen thousands of people getting saved. Uh, in the name of Jesus, I have seen thousands of people getting healed. Uh, yeah, ten thousands of people I have seen being healed. So uh, I have seen a lot of that thing now. So now I was organizing a meeting back again in my hometown. And this is always a little special to come uh, back to your hometown and see how will they receive you there. Uh, you know, uh, Jesus have a problem when he come to his hometown. Uh, they don't really uh, like to receive him. They don't really believe that he could be the son of God. They don't believe he could be uh, the Messiah because of he was only, you know, son of the carpenter, like uh, me. Uh, I can. I was a carpenter, but uh, I built houses, um, uh, and uh, my father only was a. Uh, owner of a little farm in the in the countryside there outside of the town so it was not something special but when i came back again uh, to my hometown i see a lot of wonderful uh, thing so i think i will show you a little from this meeting there this was a four hours meeting so i will only show you some minutes from that but we start from the beginning from the first one i pray for so let us look a little upon that what we see now here this is uh, Older the woman, they are sitting there in front of me. I tried to speak with her, but this was, uh, com I could not uh, do it because of she was deaf. And uh, she understand nothing about uh, what I was uh, saying. I tried to explain for her in a different way, but uh, she have some friend uh, that was sitting back with her and he told me what the problem was. She was completely deaf. And now I pray for uh, her and uh, I only pray uh, this uh, simple prayer of uh, faith. Uh, I don't get a special uh, revelation about that. I only pray for healing of the ear and uh, try a little on different ways to uh, pray for these ears. Therefore, I take a little time with her because of uh, uh, when you are deaf on ears, they can be different things. They can be something you need in, in, in sight, in the ear. Uh, maybe something uh, like a other time where there was someone that have no trumps in his ears. So this was the reason why he not could hear. And then there was not only a, a healing he need, he need a creating miracle and he get it. So I was... Uh, uh, waiting on uh, what uh, God was uh, doing in uh, this uh, situation and really I don't know exactly what uh, God was doing but what I know was that after I had been praying uh, she was completely healed I could talk to her like an ordinary uh, human being, <laughs> like an ordinary woman and she understand every word I was uh, saying and she was full of joy and uh, see um, uh, only yeah you see i can only speak uh, uh, with her on an ordinary way and uh, she understand uh, everything she also have some problem i think it was in the balance now she could uh, have problem to walk uh, uh, on a right way so it is the reason why I pray for her again right uh, now. So something happened and God to do something. And uh, <clears throat> I would like to show you uh, different thing uh, from uh, the meeting. So I, I don't think I have the same problem some Jesus have when he come to his hometown. Of course, uh, they should not accept me some uh, the Messiah because of I'm not that. Uh, I'm only a disciple of Jesus Christ. And I have a law. And I think this is the 
most wonderful thing. Hey, you know, I don't uh, need other titles. Uh, I only uh, have a law to say I am a child of God. And this is the highest position you can have in this earth. They are or be a child of God. Maybe you think you have a higher uh, position. Maybe you think you are a minister. You think you are king of the country or I don't know what you can think but the highest position you can have in this world are that uh, you are a child of God. So I am a child of God and we will see something uh, more uh, now. This is a young uh, girl. She have uh, had an accident so <coughs> uh, she have uh, had uh, the one of uh, one arm uh, was still paralyzed she could not really use uh, the arm so i pray uh, special for her and uh, she uh, felt how the, the the power of god come to her arm and uh, something happening in her arm and it looks like she could use uh, the arm on a on a naturally way uh, afterward so i believe that this was what uh, there was uh, uh, happening uh, that uh, she be completely healed, she was rejoicing afterward and she could feel a big difference. Uh, this was uh, a period of time since this accident had been there, uh, so, so she uh, had been healed for something uh, on a more natural way, but uh, now she asked for the last thing. And Oh yes, she say uh, she could lift her arm, but still it was like her uh, arm was very heavy. But it it's, it's, it's looks like this only was the spirit of God that was uh, moving in her arm, and uh, something uh, wonderful uh, was uh, happening in this arm. And uh, I think we will soon uh, find uh, the next one, and uh, God. Uh, uh, have done different thing. Uh, I can tell you when I was uh, coming into this place, uh, outside uh, the room there, I meet a man, uh, a woman, and she told me that for 20 years ago, I have been praying for for her father, and um, and he have cancer, and uh, now 20 years later, she came to my meeting and told me when I pray for her father, he get healed for 20 years ago. So, you know, sometimes when God does something, I, I, I don't know about it. I only pray for people and I pray for this, uh, um, I pray for her father over the phone. Uh, so uh, I uh, get no response back, uh, so I uh, think uh, I don't know what that was happening. But now, 20 years later, uh, I meet uh, the same uh, again and uh, she told me he be completely healed on this time. The next one uh, we can see uh, <clears throat> also uh, some I know from before, I uh, know her for, yeah, this is also around 20 years ago where she came in on our rehabilitation center and he f get help on uh, many ways. And I uh, asked my wife to come and help me and uh, pray for her because of we know him, we know her for around 20 years back. Um, and of course, in 20 years, there can happen a lot of things in a, in a person's life and uh, see her getting some different uh, problem and uh, also because of she have not been very good to go to Turks. Uh, so he also have uh, some, um, yeah, nearly like a mental problem. But uh, I meet her later on. Uh, uh, and then uh, she uh, told that uh, she was a lot better after this prayer. And I heard also that from other one in the town, they have uh, talked with uh, her. So something was happening also in uh, this uh, situation. And 
This is wonderful, you know. The next one I don't uh, know about uh, before he came uh, to the meeting. But, uh, you know, uh, uh, he uh, was not in a very good situation. Uh, so we must not tell that uh, in, uh, in uh, the local uh, situation here, but he have a real problem in his uh, life. But uh, what happened now was he have, um, bec it was because of polio. Polio is not always so easy to pray for. Uh, of course, I have seen healing many times, but what uh, was happening uh, right there was one of the leg was five centimeter shorter than the other leg. And um, when we was praying there, uh, we see how uh, the short leg could be longer. And uh, after we have been praying for a time, uh, this the boat leg was exactly uh, in the same uh, way. So this be a very good sign for him, because of afterward he was uh, asking some of my friend uh, to come and pray for him so he would like to receive Jesus from Lord and Savior. So he was only going to this meeting because of he had heard about the healing that should happen on this uh, meeting and uh, he don't really know how to accept uh, Jesus and uh, he was in a situation where he really need Jesus uh, because of he had done something very bad so he was coming on a jail so it was not uh, a good situation but uh, but now uh, after he have seen the sign of God then he <coughs> become a believer on Jesus Christ and uh, I believe many times this is the most important thing uh, when we pray uh, to God about healing of sickness. Uh, of course, this is important to get healed. You know, if you are sick, you are only thinking upon one thing. One single thing you are thinking on there are how to get healed. But uh, uh, when you have been healed, you have getting one thing more. You have get a sign from God. And this sign is very important and uh, it's help people to believe. Uh, the last one here, this is a woman. I already have prayed for her on the phone before she came to this uh, meeting. And uh, uh, she all, all already was healed for something, but she had a lot of sickness in her life. Uh, uh, one of the problems I see uh, was when she showed up uh, in the place where this meeting was, she could not go up off the stairs. So uh, she must uh, wait. There was a special uh, uh, kind of lift they could take her up. So I was uh, looking on her, she was standing there outside and, uh, and uh, waiting on, on this special lift. They could lift him up in the place where we was. But afterward, uh, she uh, could walk around uh, completely uh, on a natural way. And uh, afterward, she also have called me on the phone and I have prayed for one uh, sickness uh, more. Uh, so she was being healed in the back and she was uh, um, uh, being healed for some, she have some allergy and some of the allergy was healed. But later on, I have prayed for other part of special food allergy and uh, now she can walk around also. And her husband also uh, came to the meetings because of she, al uh, she already have received something on the phone. So because of that, her husband also would like to go with her to the meeting and he also get healed in his back uh, on this uh, meeting. Uh, so. God uh, will be uh, uh, with us and she will uh, show us uh, a way to do something supernaturally. 
So right now, this is your time. This is your time to get something supernaturally. So I will pray for you right now. So every kind of sickness you have, I think if you not have received Jesus some Lord and Savior, lay your hand on your heart because of you must have your heart right with God. If you have some other sickness, lay your hand on your head or maybe lay your hand on the sick place on your body. And then I will pray for you right now and you can receive something wonderful from the living God. So get ready right now. God will be with you and he will bless you right in the situation where you are right now. So be ready to receive. Thank you, Lord, that I can come to you right now. I only thank you, Lord, for you will bless these people now on a mighty way. So in the name of Jesus, I command sickness to leave from you right now in Jesus' name. Get healed in the name of Jesus. And what you not could do before, start to do it right now because of God are with you and he do something wonderful for you right now. So give your life all to the living God and come to him with your whole life and something wonderful will happen for you. Only confess your sin in for the living God and he will accept you and receive you. So you also have a law to call you. The highest thing you can be called in this world, a child of God. God bless you. Thank you for this time. We will soon see you again.